Thank you, Mr. Speaker. An image that uh, sits with me from the very earliest days of the conflict is of the toughness of the Ukrainian people. And I dare say I don't think Putin had any idea what he was about to run into. And that image is of people locked arm in arm, row by row, standing in front of an, uh, an approaching enemy with resilience, with um, pride, saying, you're not coming here. You're not taking us. And that speaks to the, you, to the heart of the Ukrainian people. I want to talk just briefly about the Ukrainian comp contribution in my constituency. Uh, across uh, my constituency from the early 1900s, uh, the Ukrainian people came, uh, settled um, through agriculture, forestry, um, and, and even in, in more recent times, they've come to our uh, land and worked in manufacturing and, um, and certainly in professions, and uh, some have married into the communities. And uh, we're very, very honored and proud to have them as part uh, of our constituency and as part of our communities. I also want to uh, recognize um, one of the more unique, I think, contributions of the Ukrainian people, uh, and, and that is across this province, the iconic, uh, unique uh, architecture of the Orthodox churches that we have in uh, so many of our communities. Uh, and I'm, I'm just going to touch on a few of them because I think it's, it's important that we recognize uh, that when they, when they arrived in Saskatchewan through uh, volunteer efforts entirely, through volunteer, uh, through donations, uh, they, one of the first things that the Ukrainian people did was build on their uh, religious heritage and, 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 and brought with them the uh, very uniqueness of the churches. And I pay particular attention to some uh, that were extremely unique, like uh, St. Michael's in Rama, and of course uh, St. John's in Theodore. There's a number of others in, in more, uh, larger towns, the Ukrainian Catholic Church in Foam Lake, St. Uh, Peter and Paul in Porcupine Plain, the Descent of the Holy Spirit in Wadena, Sacred Heart in Winyard, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin in Wishart, Saints Peter and Paul in Kuroki, Blessed Virgin Mary in Rose Valley, and so many others that dotted virtually every village and town and sometimes rural part across my constituency and I know across much of Saskatchewan. And I think uh, that uh, the heart of the, the Ukrainian people is represented in their churches and in the images in, inside those churches, the colors, the, the spirit of, of, uh, of, their, uh, of their church life. Mr. Speaker, throughout the communities, there continues to be celebrations of dance, of music, and art of the people of Ukraine. Many young people continue to learn Ukrainian dance, the history of Ukrainian food and clothing, and particular art forms and something that's extremely unique and I think we've all uh, uh, probably dabbled with it as children, but the, uh, the art form of Pasanka, which is the coloring of eggs, which I think, uh, you know, certainly in, in, in early school years, I think a lot of uh, folks in Saskatchewan have had the experience of trying to, uh, to create some semblance of colorful eggs, not anywhere near some of the incredible art that is represented in the Ukrainian community. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my uh, constituency has over 100 years of history of immigration, settlement, and celebra celebration of the Ukrainian culture. My school years, my friends, my neighbors, my family, my community, and now my colleagues have a proud cultural connection with the people of Ukraine. We are, of course, very, very concerned for the people of Ukraine. Many of our neighbors have family in the Ukraine, and our thoughts and prayers are with them at this time. My constituency fully supports the motion of support for peace and the safety of the people of Ukraine, and we will welcome them to our communities, 
to our businesses and to our hearts. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.